Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. My son got a new tent. It's a Coleman Highline 2 dome tent. Uh, claims to sleep four people. I just seen the dimensions on this thing. Um, it says it's tested up to 35 mile an hour winds. That's pretty cool. Um, wow. <clears throat> I haven't had the first cup of coffee yet this morning. Maybe that's why. There. Um, seven by nine. That's what it is. And apparently the inside height is four foot eight inches. Um, it says 10 minute setup. Mm, we'll see about that. All right. We'll, we'll be back. trying to get out here and get this done and set up at least set up before the we lose all that shade that's right here at least that's our attempt so far things are going good so honestly yes I've helped a little bit <clears throat> but it's a brand new tent and he hasn't actually put up very many tents Okay, try not to stand on the edge, even the edge of it. Okay, hold on. I sure hope the video is turning out better when somebody watches it than what I can see. It might be better to put that pole in before you do the front ones. Oh. Pole so tiny. Yeah. You see that? That's super tiny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I seen oh there it stopped. Pull it back out a little bit. And, oh, there it is. Yep. And now You're gonna want to flex this part out. Oh. Next time you may want to um, put, now tie the front back down. Yeah, next time you may want to um, put that in before you put the, the rain fly up on it, period. Yep. Some people say it's easier for them to stake it before doing certain things, but yeah, that's a pretty cool looking tent. And then, and then these, the problem that I don't like about these is that when you have them and people walk too close to your tent, they end up tripping on them. But it's nice for air circulation through the tent. You still get it. Yeah, it is. I... Now, did yours come with a a little no. thing to put down? In okay, that's fine. Those hey. things don't really work that well because it's the same material. Hey, that's not bad. 
It you supposedly gotta... says it fits one clean air mattress. Oh. Uh. I think the biggest bed I think I'm ever going to have in here is a twin. Okay, folks. I am about six foot and I cannot stand up in here, but we already knew that. There's a pocket over there. And then there's a pocket there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know if he's going to sleep in it tonight or not, or what the plan is, but once again, this is a Coleman Highline 2 4P 9x7. And yeah, it was fairly easy to put up. Of course, putting up a brand new tent with new poles and stuff sometimes uh, may take a little bit more effort. Anyways, not a bad little tent. Hopefully in the next few weeks we can take it out and use it along with our uh, other stuff and see how it works out. All right, folks. Hope you have a blessed day. So... I want to also mention this expandable carry bag for easy packing. Um, there's a piece down here in the bottom that, if you remove, goes the full length of the bag. Then on the inside here, yeah, um, I guess it <clears throat> you put it in there if that's expanded, and um, <laughs> Well, there's no zipper on it. I've got a backpack that's got something similar, but um, you can zip it back up. But once that's opened, it's opened. I am just going to make sure that when we roll the tent up, it can all fit in there. Um, but, yep, I don't know if it's a new thing that a lot of uh, places are doing or if this is just a Coleman thing so far. Anyways, talk to you later.